in one of the previous videos, I got a comment from Dominic, and in it he asked me why I didn't have any changes in the quick access toolbar and ribbon. And he's so right for asking, because this is something that is going to help you work with the tool a lot. And I say a tool because this can be done with Word, PowerPoint, Excel, and Microsoft Project. As always, consider subscribing and clicking on that like button. This still is a small channel and it helps a lot pushing this video and the channel in the YouTube algorithm. So basically there are two sections in a modern Microsoft application. First, you have the quick access toolbar, which is on the top left. The quick access toolbar is always going to show up at the top or bottom depending on how you configure it. But this is your quick access to certain things that you will use on your daily basis with the tool. The second is the ribbon. And you may, may already know this, but the ribbon is contextual. So for instance, you will have all the things that are related to tasks set aside in the tasks. So when we open that up, you will see the task related views, we see copy and paste, we see that we can set things to a different percentage of complete, um, as well as changing the mode of a uh, task to manually scheduled or auto scheduled. And I'm currently on the project summary task, so I can't set that to manual scheduled mode. Um, but I can add new tasks, summary tasks, milestones, all the stuff that you know and love from tasks. But there's a lot that you can do with Microsoft Project. There are roughly 360, maybe even more commands that you can manage. And currently they're scattered across the ribbon. And we're going to create our own ribbon, helping you out with your day-to-day -day work with Microsoft Project. So let's start with a few simple additions to the quick access toolbar. And remember, this is always going to be visible from your application, regardless on which ribbon item you currently are navigating. And recently, Microsoft released the, the simplified ribbon where the ribbon is most of the time going to be collapsed but remember that you can pin it and then it is always going to show um, regardless if you're actually working in the tool or if you're interested in going about the ribbon um, i'm going to close it off again so that we have a very simplified view and more how microsoft calls it real estate for the application itself so we have more room to put in more tasks or create a bigger timeline whatever we want so let's start with that quick access toolbar here we have the save option we have a undo redo and something that's called touch mouse mode which is not that interesting i believe so let's uh let's remove that from the section and let's have a look again at the quick access toolbar customizer menu here microsoft presents some of the items that you might be interested in such as creating a new schedule opening up a new uh, a current schedule uh, save as email quick print uh, print preview which is somewhat of an ancient uh, option i believe but let's uh, let's click on the more commands and let's dive into the quick access toolbar menu. This is the project options menu actually, and you can do a lot in it. And there's more ways on accessing this. Uh, you can, for instance, go into file and then click on options, or you can have the ribbon open. You can have the ribbon open and right click to click on customize the ribbon and then you will have the option to go back to that project options and then quick access toolbar. So you might be familiar with project online or project server, which is the enterprise solution for project management. And in it, it is very important that you not only save your schedule, but also publish it. 
because publishing will make the changes that you made available to everyone in the organization. So why not have this in a quick access toolbar instead of having to click on file and then having to click on publish. We want to have a option to do that faster. So from this menu, you have a choice to access commands and see what the quick access toolbar currently holds. So let's have a look at all commands and try and find that publish action. So clicking in uh, this section and pressing the P will navigate you through the whole list of actions that you can do. And let's find publish here. And here we go. So here is that button to publish. And if I add it, I have the option to put that on top where the publish button should be. One other thing that I like to do in this situation is adding the copy picture. This is a somewhat hidden feature of the project and I will demonstrate that in a moment. But if I click on C now, I have the option to copy picture. That is this one. And you see that there are three dots here as well. And that will open up a submenu. So let's add that. And control Z and Control Y. And how to find that faster than the undo and the redo button. So let's uh, let's just remove them. And let's click on OK. And what you see is you see that there's the save button and the publish button is grayed out. And the reason for that is because I'm not connected to any project server or project online environment. But that will show up as soon as I do have an environment linked up to the application. And then the last one is also grayed out. And that is the, uh, oh, I chose change picture. I don't want to change the picture. Let's, uh, let's find the right one. Copy picture, that's the one I actually want. So let's remove that change picture. And let's go put that as the last option. So here we go. Copy picture, there we go. So what this does, if I select the tasks that I have on my screen now, I can click on copy picture. And what it does, it will copy the um, it will copy the schedule, and it will create a new file for it. And this is going to be a file that I will show you in a moment. But what it does, it copies the selected rows, and it will show as on the screen and present you with a image which is useful to use in your PowerPoint presentations to management, for instance. And it's better most of the time than a print. And here we go. So that's a very nice little image of our, um, of our schedule. Now making changes to the quick access toolbar is nice and all, but you have a limited set of icons that you can place there. Now the real power is changing and adding your own ribbon button. And it's not called a button, obviously, it's called a tab. And creating your own tab can have its own groups. And these are groups, so you have projects and you have view reports and you have export. These are all groups and you can create your own ribbon tab with its own groups and have a lot of fun adding the actual activities that you do within a day-to-day -day basis with Microsoft Project. So how to access this? There's multiple ways. I've already shown you this route, but right-clicking and clicking on Customize the Ribbon is the most straightforward. This time, from the right section, you can see that there's different tabs already open. I have the option to add a new tab. Let's collapse all of those uh, current tabs and let's add a new tab. And that new tab is now shown underneath view. I actually want it as the last tab in the option menu. And I want to rename this. And I'm going to call this the project corner, obviously. The project corner tab. 
and it will have a new group and that new group is also going to be renamed and I'm going to call this startup going into creating two new groups and the second one is going to be resources and the last one is going to be called closure so without doing anything else I can click on OK and I will see that the project corner tab is open here now remember that we set that as being the last of the tabs actually all contextual tabs will always be on the far right of your ribbon let's head back to the project corner tab and what we're seeing now is there's nothing in here well that used to be that those groups would also show up uh, if there's nothing in there this is new for me but customizing the ribbon and adding for instance the um, copy picture option in the closure and clicking on OK will open that closure option as a group and having that copy picture in there let's add a number of commands that we want to have in our project corner tab so for instance I would like to view the document properties well that is something that's not in the popular commands <laughs> so let's have all commands and let's click on view document properties and let's add that to the startup let's also add the project information in which you set the project start date which is very important in my opinion let's find that well, project statistics is also something I like. Let's add that to the closure as well. And let's, let's add progress lines as well. It's very interesting. The project information, here we go. Then there's the project summary task, which is also something very important. And this is actually called show project summary task takes a long time to find it if you forgot about that so I might be interested in creating some custom fields as well so let's find the custom fields here so here we have the option to create some more custom fields and obviously we want to have a manually or an auto scheduled uh, project so let's uh, project so let's um, find that manually scheduled and let's set that auto scheduled as well and let's not forget about the baseline so let's add that set baseline option here as well and there's two options basically there's the one with a drop down menu here and then there's the one which creates a new uh, which opens up a new menu and we want the first one here so let's click on OK and see what that does with our ribbon well that looks lovely right where you have the option to um, change items to being manually or auto scheduled where you have the option to create some new custom fields where you have the option to set a baseline so let's fast forward between the current the current TPC tab and the one that I want to show you as being an ideal version of the ribbon based on previous knowledge of customers that I used to have as a final remark if you create a ribbon and you want to share that with your uh, colleagues there is also the option to import and export a ribbon file and if you click on export you will be able to share the project customizations exported UI file and I obviously have one available for you and I'll show you what that looks like and here we see Eric's tab now Eric's tab contains uh, views project information task information linked tasks 
and a lot of things that you might be interesting uh, might be interested in seeing as well uh, for instance here is one cool thing where you can change the uh, granularity of your schedule you can grab a copy of the customized ribbon by subscribing to the newsletter and if you like these how-to videos you'll be happy to hear that I have created it specifically on how-to videos in the project corner and if you're a more advanced user you might also want to be interested in creating master schedules in any case please smash that like button and consider subscribing. I'll be back soon with more content and thank you for watching.